Good morning. <coughs> it's day 16. We just left uh, Russell Field Shelter and we're going to be going about 15 or so miles to a shelter right outside of Klingman's Dome. So it's a beautiful morning, a little cold, probably in the 30s, maybe low 40s. But we're just kind of ambling up the trail and just having fun today. <clears throat> it should not be as aggressive as yesterday. That, uh, that was pretty rough, a lot of climbing. Um, but now we're in the thick of the Smokies. So one thought, my first thought of the day is my routine when I get up. It's, it's bathroom and then it's medicine eat, brush your teeth, fill up with water, and then away you go. That's kind of the, the start of every morning, and then repeat. So my beard looks like it's coming in nicely. Uh, haven't shaved in a little while now, so I'll check in with you a little bit whenever something exciting happens. All right. Hey, made it to the top of Rocky Top. And now we're heading down the trail. So, this is, uh, I think over 6,000 feet, but it's it was quite a, quite a ways, great views from the top. I think we'll get a view here. And that way. Yeah, so. It's a beautiful day. It's turning into about, I don't know, probably in the 40s, maybe high 40s, low 50s. Little breeze, but once if you keep going, it's fine. We're coming across a ridge right now, and basically we'll uh, go up another climb, come down, get water, and... I think we're going to have a general climb all day towards the base of Klingman's Dome, which is going to be the highest point on the Appalachian Trail. If you guys want to do trivia, find out how how high that uh, that that mountain top is. But I guess, and I don't know, I, we couldn't. You can't. There's some trees in the way, but I think. From what we were told up at the top, Knoxville is behind me. Somewhere down there, Knoxville, Tennessee. And my glasses just went on. And then there's also Marysville, which Marysville is the closest point to get into the Smokies from Tennessee side. So we're kind of walking along a ridge that is Tennessee, North Carolina right now. Uh, and like I said, when I say we, there's there's a small group of people that are hitting all the shelters. Most of the time, people are hiking alone or, you know, in pairs, but it seems to be several people um, coming up the trail together. And so, I'll start talking in a second. I'm gonna just let you go by. I'm kind of videoing for my sister. Thanks. All right. So, that's where we are as far as the, the tops. But heading, heading on to, toward Klingman Stone. I'll catch you in a bit. Uh, you might want to see a little bit of the tunnel that we just got into, that I just got into. Nice and gentle, gentle down. I like the gentle downs. So, there you go. Hey, yeah, the day is ending. Um, <clears throat> I... Uh, I was going to do more filming while, um, on the trail, but the trail was just so 
so up and down that I ended up um, just kind of working my way through the day. So we made it to the shelter, the shelter you can see behind me right there and it's an open-ended shelter i believe i showed you one um in a previous video uh, but it's basically an open it's three-sided i guess sides and then a roof and then uh there is kind of like a shelf so people sit sleep up top or people sleep down below i tend to sleep down below just so in the middle of the night if i need to use the bathroom I'm not kind of jumping from the from the top of the rafters but <clears throat> it's really interesting because in the Smokies there's not a lot of um, options as far as sleeping and you have to go you have to stay at a shelter in um, in the Smokies so what that means is we had a choice we could have gone eight miles today 14 <clears throat> or 16, 14 plus or 16 miles. And when we got to the 14, we realized uh, the other guy that I was hiking with that it's just, there's no value in trying to go one more mile just to get one mile closer. And uh, tomorrow morning, I'll end up in uh, going up Klingman's and then after that, figuring out where to, where to shelter, uh, so. The other two things that I want to talk about, it, it was very prevalent for water in Georgia and early on in um, in North Carolina, but now the water sources are further and further apart. So I'm trying to rethink my water. Guzzle when, when I'm at the, uh, <clears throat> at the water source and then carry two bottles. That's that's just kind of my standard and the two bottles are 750 milliliters which is you know uh three quarters of a quart i guess something like that um so that's that's kind of the new strategy getting through the smokies and then i think as the summer comes up i think there's less water sources but i also feel like we will be traversing the uh the Appalachians near more rivers the lower we are because it seems like the higher we've gone up the less water availability there is um, most shelters have water or I believe all the shelters in the Smokies have water so <clears throat> that's okay so I'll I'll be um wary of that the other thing is um food I feel like I did not pack enough food. I didn't pack enough snacks and I bounced the box up to the other end of the Smokies. And that, uh, uh, I'm gonna just be, I'll be lightly rationing. I have plenty of food, I just don't have it in snack. I have an extra meal and I can eat that in the middle of one of the next couple days. We do have a uh, a rainstorm coming in, so that may end up giving me a um, a shorter day. But yeah, it was all in all, it was a beautiful day. And right now, I'm just uh, we're just hanging out and uh, drying off some clothing because it's just it's kind of the perfect day. It's a little cold; it's probably fifty, but good day to uh, to have in the Smokies. So. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, share, and happy hiking.